and gentlemen, introducing our next 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. George Beersford. His presenter, class of 2007 Hall of Famer and former scholastic AAU wrestler of George, Mr. Russ Kozar. Just a quick note, George presented Russ with his Hall of Fame award last year. George Beersford attended the University of Pittsburgh where he was undefeated in duels and placed first in the Eastern Collegiate Tournaments. He also placed first in the Western States Olympic Trials. George coached wrestling at Kennedy High School in Buena Park and Upland High School where his coaching record was 100 wins and four losses. His Upland teams enjoyed seven undefeated seasons in league duels and were the San Antonio League champions. His overall high school coaching record stands at 124 wins and five losses. His teams had also accumulated 23 tournament titer, titles. Excuse me. George is the founder and coach of the Upland Blackwatch Age Group Wrestling Club, along with the founding member of the California Age Group Wrestling Association, known as CAGWA. He officiated both high school and freestyle competitions for many years, which he was the Southern California Wrestling Officials Association. From 1973 through 1980, George was the chairman of the Southern Pacific California Wrestling Coaches Association of AAU. During his tenure, George conducted in excess of 70 tournaments for age group through open division wrestlers. He also generated funding for eight Southern California Cultural Exchange Wrestling Tours to foreign nations. George received the International Service Award along with the Coach of the Year Award by the Southern California Wrestling Coaches Association. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. George Beersford. Chairman Deitch and committee members of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, I thank you so much for this uh, very special award. And in as much as opportunities to stand in wrestling's limelight does not roll around very often, I will uh, thank all you guests, uh, especially my uh, immediate family and uh, members of my, a few members of my former wrestling team for gathering here tonight because it's your presence that makes this event very special to us. Glancing back at my four plus decades of active involvement in the sport, it began with wrestling competition, moved on to officiating and coaching, and eventually uh, ended up uh, in various endeavors with the Amateur Athletic Union in administrative uh, endeavors. Now briefly in competition, I competed, <coughs> or I should say I wrestled, in uh, high school and college, AAU, uh, the military, a few international uh, events, for a total of 142 matches. And of these, I won 128 and lost 14. And I think four of those 14 were uh, in high school. And uh, the others were against uh, gentlemen like uh, Dan Hodge and, uh, and, and people like this uh, who were uh, Olympians. And uh, it was a little bit uh, different back in then because we didn't have the kind of wrestling that they have now with age group and then in high school. A kid starts now in high school and he probably has as many matches as I had in my whole career. And that's wonderful because it's a big step toward the sport of wrestling and that's, that's what we're all here about. And in officiating I <coughs> refereed high school and junior college matches uh, until I began coaching and afterwards I dropped my um, uh, high school and JC uh, refereeing and just worked with freestyle uh, wrestling. And my coach, uh, first coaching experience uh, came when I was in the Army and I was uh, assigned the duty of organizing and coaching the 14th Armored Cavalry Regiment's first ever wrestling team. And uh, to my great surprise, the team went undefeated in 10 dual meets, and uh, we won the Army's Fifth Corps uh, championship. Now, I can tell you probably part of the reason for that was that the guys I had on my team were all guys that worked on the East-West German Border Patrol, 
And <clears throat> these guys were in an open Jeep two weeks out and then one week back in the barracks. And it didn't matter rain or snow, and it's freezing in Germany. And uh, these were the guys then, the one nobody else signed up. I went to these guys, and they were damn happy to come out and run seven miles every day, working out and climbing ropes and two-a-day sessions. So uh, that's how you find your wrestlers, the ones who want to wrestle, you see. <laughs> Okay, after returning to civilian life and uh, acquiring my teaching credential, I taught and coached for two years at Kennedy High School in Buena Park, and in 1968, Kennedy's wrestlers won the Freeway League Championship and placed second in CIF. And shortly thereafter, I interviewed for a teaching coaching position at Upland High School over in Upland, California, and in as much as the school's principal had been a former wrestler and he had five sons whom he had uh, he had them all involved in wrestling. Uh, Upland appeared to be the very type of school community where I wanted to teach and coach. And uh, I'm very pleased tonight that I have five of Upland's outstanding wrestlers from those early years. And uh, I've Understandably, uh, without me around to oversee their daily uh, weigh-ins, they've gone a little bit overweight. In the, in the, in the <laughs> okay, from 1973 through 1980, I served as the wrestling chairman of the AAU Southern Pacific Association. And then in 1976, upon resigning from my up and coaching position, I turned my efforts toward constructing a uh, full schedule of AAU wrestling tournaments for age group through open division wrestlers and subsequently this led to a series of annual wrestling exchanges with several foreign nations. <clears throat> I see they're on me and the man with the hook is about to come out. <laughs> So as a member of the National, uh, I was a member of the National Wrestling Committee and I uh, served as uh, an administrator and a sports festival, the National Sports Festival, the Junior Olympic Games and the Junior, uh, uh, FIFA Junior World Games. And the last uh, event was the 84 Olympics where I was a staff member on the FIFA uh, Wrestling Arbitration Committee. And uh, I've, I've had uh, probably uh, failures, all of which were uh, my own. but. For so many of the successes that I had in the sport, I, I can only attribute that, attribute that to so many individuals that I encountered along the way in wrestling. And uh, uh, once again, uh, Chairman Deitch and Hall of Fame committee members, I thank you so much for this very special honor.